What's up, folks? I'm Mitch with Stone Coat Epoxy. We're on site in a single car garage working with our new pro line of epoxy products. Yes. Step one, we're gonna open up all these spider cracks. There's a ton on this floor. So I've got a diamond wheel on a grinder. I'm gonna open those up, we'll clean out the dust, and then it's time to apply our pro epoxy floor patch. So what they did, Nate, is they did an overlay. The slab was probably all cracked to heck, and the previous owner said, let's just put some on top. So that's where our crack patch comes in. It has a flex to it. it when the concrete expands and contracts, to an extent, it'll go with it. It won't pop back through like it did here. But that being said, if you have like water going under your slab and it's pulling out the dirt, the earth under there, then you get this sort of thing going and you can't, nothing stops that. Um, but this is an overlay. So it's usually like a self leveling, but they floated it on. That's why it's so chopped up. This is what the grandma's porch had out in Texas. If you haven't seen that video, go check that out. Kenny and I with RK3 Designs donated all the materials and our time to do that grandma's back porch. And then her deck, we surprised her with a free deck because if you stepped on it, you fell right through. So I didn't want no 90 year old grandma falling through on my watch. So Nate, I'm gonna uh, fill up our cracks with a new product. So let me do that first and then we'll hit the perimeter and start grinding. The overlays are, are usually pretty soft, so they grind fast. This is our epoxy thickener, polyfiber, really cool stuff. This is how you can turn the epoxy into a vertical, uh, like high gloss Venetian plaster. Eight ounces of B, eight ounces of polyfiber. I'll put eight ounces of A. I'm gonna incorporate the polyfiber and the B together and then put in my A mix for 30 seconds and then we're pouring into cracks and then rinse and repeat that same process. You have a short work time with this product, but you can sand it in 45 minutes. That's epic. Scrape the sides, bottom, and we're ready. That was too much. We need to go a little thinner, I think. I'm gonna go a little less. I was heavy eight, probably a six or seven ounces of my poly. Really incorporates easily. So you can add epoxy dyes to this mix, but we are going to be uh, sending this material out black. So at, when you mix and add the powder, it's about a, a, a gray, a concrete color. Uh, so you don't have any lines that goes through if you're gonna go put your marble. If you're doing flake, it doesn't matter because we're covering up everything. You could have a hot pink line down there. You're not gonna see it as long as you have full coverage. Just float that in. You also could use concrete dust to thicken this. All right, Nate, we're pretty much prepped and ready to rock. We got our squeegee, that's to spread the ribbon. We'll mix it up, scrape the sides. I'll pour out a four to five inch ribbon and I use the trowel to spread. When I get further, that's when we switch over and back roll for a nice uniform finish. I'm also gonna pour a ribbon under here and use the weenie roller to fill in there and you could even fill the wood. And then we'll spread the material as far as we can get it. When we run out, we'll flake thoroughly not mix until we're done flaking. So if we have loose flake on the concrete, we need to grab our broom because then we'll also sweep all that flake onto our wet side and then overlap that seam, maybe six or eight inches, and then reflake the rest of this floor. Guys, the only difference with the Moisture Seal Pro epoxy primer and the DIY version is the amount of time in which you have to apply and the amount of time in which it cures. Still the same durability and tenacious bond to any slab of concrete across the nation. Um, you wanna get flakes on top of this product within maximum time frame, about 35 minutes. There weren't my pit vipers for this install, so you better not blink. I'm turning into turbo mode. This floor is gonna be coated in two shakes of a lamb's tail. I only mix one at a time because this is a little faster. I've mixed two moisture seals at a time with our DIY system, but we have, shoot, 60 minutes or more to get that flaked. We've cut the time in half and we've cut the curing time more than in half. You would have to wait about 15 hours to scrape the flake with our moisture seal epoxy primer. With our moisture seal pro epoxy primer, 
you only need to wait four hours to scrape and do the top coat. So you could get to the job site, six, seven a.m., get set up, get grinding. Uh, it took us about two, three hours to prep. If I had a more professional machine, it would have been even faster. With a Lavina machine in here, I could have ground this in 25 minutes, I'd say. Have it vacuumed out another 10. We're putting this product down. We're going to the next job, we're grinding, and then we're going to lunch, coming back, scraping both jobs, applying the PolySpark. If your crew knows what they're doing, you could do two of these in one day and make some serious bank. I'll push a little mountain up, and that's how I cut in. I don't use a brush, I don't use tape. Push in the mound and let it self-level into the edge. Sweet. That's what I'm talking about. That right there shows excellent bond. So Nate, I just pulled my ribbon up to it and then overlap the roller even a little bit further. This floor was pretty horrific before we got our hands on it. That looks done. Let's call it good. This looks fantastic. I'm just looking for any glossy spots, which I don't see. And glossy spots, guys, are when the flakes settle in and just broadcast a little bit more on top till it, it's nice and dry. We're looking great. We'll be back in four hours to scrape and apply the polyaspartic. Okay, we're back. It's time to scrape the flake. We use these floor scrapers, picked them up at the Home Depot. You also can get these on Amazon for pretty cheap. It's just a, it's a floor scraper that's real narrow. And we're going to be at a real shallow angle and just scrape all the flakes to the back wall and then vacuum and clean as many of the loose flakes as possible, especially around the perimeter. They like to hide there because when you go to apply the polyaspartic top coat over a nice clean floor, it goes much more smooth. What would happen if you leave a bunch of loose flakes? They ball up, it contaminates the poly. I mean, it's still gonna dry and cure, but you have little mountains of clumped up flakes, which are not the best look and they can kick off. So we're gonna get as many of these loose flakes out of here and mix up the polyaspartic top coat. We're gonna pour that out in a ribbon. I'm gonna use the magic trowel to spread it as tight as I can. And then my good friend, Nathan, is gonna follow me and back roll that poly. We'll cross hatch it, we'll go front to back, side to side, salute the floor, shut the door, and let that cure. And you can walk on this bad boy in four to five hours. It's cold, rainy right now in Oregon. So keep that in mind, the colder the weather, the longer it's gonna to take to cure. So we're probably five to six hours on poly in temperatures like this. In temperatures above 70, you're talking four to five hours. Pro tip guys, the floor epoxy does not wanna come off these when dry. So wipe that trowel down so you could use it again tomorrow in the next job, bam. And I set it in there until it's dry. This looks good. This is my best poly lay down yet, I think. I'm gonna do one final roll here. We're getting stickier up there where we applied it initially, but still able to tie the two floors together. In colder weather like today, it'll be walkable in five to six hours. We do have rain coming down. You don't want water getting on the wet poly. Aspartic, that'll cause bubbling. So if weather is in the forecast and you're doing this outside, press pause. You'll be able to park on this floor about three to five days in the summer quicker well that's it for this job on to the next let's make 2024 the best yet you got this we'll see you on the next video Stop.